played last year. I'm your audience, Dave Warren here at CBS4 Weather Control. Just a quick update here. Want to update you on what is happening with Tropical Storm Elsa. First, it looks pretty ragged and disorganized. It is passing just south of Haiti. Uh, there's some wind shear, some land interaction. Uh, despite that, uh, still a tropical storm uh, with the wind speeds there at 70 miles an hour. This is new information from the National Hurricane Center as well as an updated track. Now, over the next 48 hours, uh, forecast to continue to move quickly to the West Northwest. There are no watches issued for South Florida yet. However, tropical storm watches go all the way to central Cuba. A number of warnings uh, there in eastern Cuba and parts of Hispaniola. Uh, now it looks like it's shifted just a bit to the west, so it may remain over water and not interact much with Cuba as the last forecast, but likely still becoming a tropical storm could be still having could still have that land interaction. This will be uh, by Sunday to early Monday. By Monday, it moves north across the Florida Straits. This is the time to watch. Still a little uncertainty on if it does try to redevelop, but we're looking at tropical storm conditions developing, moving north into the Keys and then spreading as far north as maybe southern portions of Miami-Dade and the East Coast. Now this is a little farther west, but we'll still be seeing the impacts late Monday to early Tuesday and by Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, the storm continues to move north up across the southeast coast. Tropical storm force winds moving into the Keys and then trying to push into parts of Miami-Dade. This will be Monday by 8 o'clock and then early Tuesday. The problem here is could we could be getting these rain bands, which will give gusty squalls and very heavy rain to the area, but likely seeing the biggest impacts there Monday night to early Tuesday. More information is coming in. We'll have complete forecast updates at 6 after golf again at 7 and 11, or you can get any update anytime at CBSMiami.com. Back to golf.